Hey, hey, what's going on everybody? Welcome back. So today I was on the GoProFanatics.com website and also the GoPro subreddit and it looks like GoPro Studio 2.0 came out so I just wanted to give it a try. I want to do a basic little overview. Um, I literally just installed it and messed around with it a little bit and uh, here's a little overview video. So they actually included a template here of the GoPro Super Bowl baby video and you could put your own videos together using their template. So I thought that was pretty cool for all the beginners. I didn't really mess around with that too much though. So I started with a blank template and tried to make my own video. So basically I started off on the left here. I imported my files and brought them over to the right and you have to convert them to a GoPro Studio compatible file, so an AVI or a movie. Once all your video clips are converted, you just uh, drag them onto the timeline and start messing around. The first thing I wanted to play around with was the razor tool or the split tool because this clip here is actually 60 frames per second. So I wanna play it at uh, normal speed and then slow it down to 50%. So I split it there and then I highlighted that second clip and slowed it down to 50% so that when this plays through normal, it'll slow down there to 50%. So that's pretty cool, 60 frames per second. A lot of the applied features are all just done on the fly, so there's no waiting or rendering time. Over here on the right, you have actually a few presets for the, the look. So it's kind of like Instagram for video. You could change all the different looks and get different feels for it. You also get the option to manually change the exposure, the contrast, saturation, and the sharpness. So I thought that was pretty awesome too. It really just makes color correcting a lot easier. So I think a lot of people really like that feature because it just makes it so easy. So I just messed around with it a little more. Uh, I just added a few more clips to the timeline. It's very, it's similar to Adobe Premiere, but it's different in a way because I've never used this before. And I think if it's your first time using some uh, video editing software, I think you should be able to pick it up fairly quickly because GoPro, this GoPro Studio, there's like steps involved. At the top you have step one, import and convert, step two, edit, and then step three, export. So it kind of like lays it out for you. And plus they had those templates, so that makes it pretty easy too. Another cool thing about this is you don't have to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars for editing software because GoPro is actually giving this to you for free. It's a free download right from their website. Adding music to the timeline is just like any other editing software. You basically just import the file and bring it onto the timeline and just hit play and you'll hear the music playing. Then you'll just wanna edit your uh, video to the music so that it flows better. So once you're done with your video, you're just gonna wanna export it. They have several uh, preset export features. You have YouTube, Vimeo, mobile device, 720, 1080. I went with the uh, custom just to see what else is there. You got H.264 and then you could pick the frame rate. Um, and then you could also adjust the, the bite rate for the video. I chose 15 just to keep the video file, the, the final video file small. I didn't want to export something huge. So then you just hit export and it will just export the file wherever you want to. And really it's as easy as that. If you don't have the money to spend on higher quality video editing software, this will really do. Like for the videos that you want to do for like uh, YouTube or Vimeo or whatnot, this is actually pretty awesome software and it's free. Um, it's really easy to use. Anybody could really figure it out. The only negative thing I found so far was uh, I first tried editing this video using my external hard drive. So I had all my video clips on my external hard drive and my project files were on my external hard drive. The GoPro Studio was very laggy, very slow. I couldn't preview any of the files. Nothing was exporting. Everything was just a mess. So, I mean, I know you're not supposed to be editing from your external hard drive because it's really too slow and they're crappy. Um, so for this video, I actually just edited everything from my solid state hard drive, which is my main drive. Now, the only reason why I say it's a negative thing that the GoPro Studio 2.0 cannot edit from your external hard drive is because I can do that in Adobe Premiere, CS6 and CS5. So that's the only reason why. And that's only because I'm comparing it to, you know, a much more expensive software. But overall, I would definitely recommend this to anybody that's getting started with video editing. And if you have a GoPro, because GoPro Studio is made for the GoPro. So that's it for this basic overview of the GoPro Studio. If you like this video, just give me a thumbs up. Leave me a comment if you have any questions. 
uh, let me know. Just put them down below. And uh, I just want to say thank you for watching. Make sure you subscribe. I got a few more tutorials and other cool videos if you want to check them out. Thanks for watching. Bye.